Hey everyone and welcome back to Lori's Crafty Corner. Today's layout is for the Shimmers design team and I'll be using the cut file by designed by Samantha um, Samantha Robles and it's February it's you know Valentine's month <laughs> Valentine's Day month so I want to use some pinks, some hot pinks, some reds, and whatnot. Um, you know, very Valentine's Day um, colors. So I started off because when I saw um, Sam's cut file, it has an envelope with a lot of hearts. And I was like, ooh, I'm going to make an envelope and I'm going to stick the cut file on it. And I'm gonna make my layout look as if I stored all these mementos into this envelope and I dropped the envelope and it spilled out. And that envelope will actually have double purpose because inside I will be tucking in my journaling for this event. And the photos that I'm going to be documenting, you'll see them soon. Um, they're actually, they're three of the most memorable pictures of my husband's and I engagement. Um, so I had a lot of journaling because I did not expect him to pop the question. I mean, I knew he was going to do it, at just not that particular day. So I wrote everything down, everything that was going through my mind. And yeah, so it's a really long journaling. So for the envelope part of the cut file, I just sprayed it with some Jenny B. Blue, some Razzle Dazzle Berry, and cotton candy. And then I grabbed all the hearts. Now this cut file, I altered it a bit. Um, I didn't cut, uh, when you cut it out as it comes, you get two hearts per each heart. Because you get a border of the heart and you get the inside. So I didn't want the border so I just used the insides and some of the hearts I'm coloring them with the same Jenny B blue others I'm spraying them with um, cotton candy and razzle dazzle berry just to create different depths of color and the other batch of hearts I just spray them with Goldilocks and that's a shimmerings. You'll see them in the frame soon. There, those hearts, I spray them with Goldilocks. Just so that, you know, I didn't want all my hearts to be colored. I just wanted, you know, some of them to be white so that I could have different variations and the shimmerings what they do is just they add the shimmer and that one goldilocks is actually actually a gold shimmer then i take them take them off my mat and then i go through my stash of pinks hot pinks and i'm going to use this um, striped paper by heidi swap it's from her color fresh collection and I'm marking where I'm going to be placing the envelope and where I'm be going to be placing my pictures. Again, remember, my idea was to create that sort of dropped envelope look. So I make my marks and then I just go to town with the pinks and I add them in the packet with the packaging technique. I add them with splatters. I have not added gesso to my background because even though I knew, or actually, sorry, no, I do, I do. Now that I touched it, I can feel the, that protectant sort of feel of, um, yeah, of <laughs> gesso. So it, I, I did gesso my paper. Um, sorry about that. But really, I'm just adding color and I'm using, I'll write them all down below, but I'm using What Hot Mama. I'm using 
Bahama Mama. I'm using Dear John Letter Cheeky Pink um, Pink Bubblegum Blast Pip Pip Cheerio Pink Caviar. And again, I'll write them down below. And I'm just adding them in um, with the, uh, I'm adding them in with the packaging technique and with splatters. It looks like a mess right now, but when you add everything in, it just adds so, so much to the layout. And the reason that I bring in the pictures and the envelope back again is to make sure that when I place them in, I don't cover up all of the mixed media. And then some of the darker color, like um, One Hot Mama, I just add them in splatters because I don't want to add big blotches of dark color to the background just so that it doesn't like it doesn't look weird or overcrowded. And then for one final touch, I add splatters of Peacock's Plume. It's a gorgeous teal-ish color. And I end up adding some of it in the plastic, well, with the packaging technique just for some pop of color. Set my background aside to dry and start working on um, adding some mats beneath my picture. I always like to add mats beneath my pictures because it makes the picture stand out more. At least I think it does. And I'm using glittery paper, glittery cardstock to um, place beneath my uh, picture. I remember that day it was it was surreal and it's it's weird because I usually pick up on things you know whenever he has a surprise I sort of pick out because it's just how he acts I know like it's like what are you up to but this time when when he popped the question it was like I was in awe. I knew that he was going to do it. I knew it, but I didn't imagine that it was going to be that, you know, specific day. And, you know, the funny thing is my parents were in on it because that's why my dad had the camera ready. And it's weird. I did not pick up that my dad had a camera ready. I mean, it was like, what? It didn't cross my mind. It's not a common thing for my dad to have his camera out. One, it's one thing that to have a cell phone ready to take pictures because you know we're always like attached to our phones. But as a camera, that should have been the dead giveaway. But I did not pick it up at the time. So here I am trying to make sure that you know I want it to be believable that. I, as believable as I could that I dropped this envelope and out spilled the, the journaling, the pictures, and the hearts. I wanted, I really wanted to make it believable. So I do play around with some of the, um, with the placement of the pictures. And then I start playing around with the placement of the pictures. I thought I wanted to add some flowers, but I was like, no. It, I'm just going to use hearts and that's it. I do add the that's sweet title is going to be my title. 
I think that's from Crate Paper. And I loved that it fit perfectly um, right there in the center. And then also, I'm going to be adding some sequins. If I recall, you do get some, some sequins with the color kits because that's how you can get the cut file. You have to purchase the color kits. I could be wrong, but you know, I'll link you down. I'll link you to the information uh, in the description box below and check them out. Shimmer's color kits do not disappoint. So I brought out some Spiegel Mom scraps sequins because I wanted, wanted to add some pops of glitteriness and shininess in between the hearts. So at first, I'm not sticking the hearts down. I'm just placing them, trying to get an eye of, you know, oh, it looks great here. It'll look great there. Some of the hearts do have, did have the borders. So I just sort of like toward, toward, <laughs> that's not even a word, sort of tuck them in beneath some of the other hearts. Some hearts, I'm popping them up on craft foam. Others, I'm just sticking them down on the background. Some hearts, I've layered them on top of other hearts. So it's a heart explosion. I add another heart to the center of the heart that's on the envelope. And I layer some like two other tiny hearts on top of that. In the hearts that are like the borders of the heart, I place some hearts in them. So really, again, I think I stress it. I don't stress it enough by saying it's a heart explosion. I love this layout it's it's it I love it I love it I thought about adding the lay the title up there but you know just didn't really work out and then I just kept adding hearts and adding them in and adding them in and I nearly used all of the hearts that I cut out which is great And then here's when I start playing around with the sequins. And I used the sequins from Freezen for a Reason packet. And I started out using the white and the pinks. Um, but then I added some pops of yellow because I do have some yellow in the, in the layout. It's in the envelope and I do add some splatters of gold. And I used some scrap pieces of cardstock to write my journaling and those were yellow so it balances everything out so and my my method of adding sequins really ranges to my mood right now i'm just i just place a dot of glue where i want a sequin and i just stick a sequin down without really paying attention to it and then that's when I decide, when I looked at my layout, I was like, I need that pop of yellow. So I added the yellow onto the one of like onto the bigger hearts. I trim off the excess. And those are the scrap of cardstock that I used to write the story of our engage engagement day and here I grabbed minor minor 49er and added splatters to the background just to tie everything together and let's see 
Oh yeah, I made sure because I had some layouts where I splattered some shimmers and it ended up on my pictures. So I'm making sure that, you know, my pictures are clean. And yeah, I trim off the bra the branding strip. And if you notice like halfway, like halfway around, like I'm being repetitive, like halfway through the process of making this layout, I wanted to add a border, but I wasn't like sure of what border to add. Um, so I go back and forth with some patterned paper, some cardstock, but it, they don't make the cut but what I did was that I made a border I try to add like a border with this marker but it's dried out I don't know why I still have it I mean if it's dried out why don't I just toss it but you know we're like that so in the end I grab a brush and some Jenny B blue and just make a border of it like make a border with it And I struggled. I really wanted to add that border with that marker, but it didn't work out. And here I'm adding the border with the Jenny B Blue and a brush. And it just hones everything in. And here are the close-ups. I loved how it turned out. Remember guys that if you write my name in the comments section of your next order from Shimmers, you'll receive some free paint. I hope you're inspired to make a layout like this and play around with your shimmers. I'll see you back soon with another process video.